Hi, I'm Deborah Baker with Trusted CISO, and welcome to this module on vulnerability management. This is based on Chapter 8 of my book, CISO Guide to Cyber Resilience. I go into much more detail in the book, so please pick up a copy. In this module, we will cover Chapter 8, Vulnerability Management, identifying and addressing security weaknesses in your systems and software is essential for protecting your organization from cyber threats. On the right is my roadmap to cyber resilience. You can download it for free from my trusted CISO website. Vulnerability management is the process of identifying, evaluating, treating, and reporting on security vulnerabilities in systems and software. This process involves regular scanning, patching, and updating of systems to protect against potential exploits. Effective vulnerability management is crucial for maintaining a strong security posture. Why is vulnerability management important? First, it helps reduce the risk of exploitation by addressing vulnerabilities before they can be used by attackers. Second, it ensures compliance with industry regulations and standards. Third, it supports business continuity by preventing disruptions caused by security breaches. And lastly, early identification and remediation of vulnerabilities can save costs associated with data breaches. Now, can every data breach be prevented with patching? Of course not. So, I mean, that's why we have this whole course, roadmap, defense in depth. There's multiple layers that you have to do for security. But this is a critical aspect of supporting your organization. Software vulnerabilities are flaws or weaknesses in a software program that can be exploited by hackers. Examples of common vulnerabilities include buffer overflows, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, also known as XSS, and unpatched software. The Open Web Application Security Project, known as OWASP, has a top 10 and it's critical resource for understanding and addressing these vulnerabilities. It lists the most critical security risks to web applications, helping developers and security professionals prioritize their effort. And they also offer OWASP Zap that can be downloaded for free that you can use to scan your code and also your website. Vulnerability prioritization is the only way to properly deal with the enormous number of vulnerabilities that are published on a daily basis. Not all vulnerabilities pose the same level of risk, so prioritizing remediation efforts is crucial. Factors to consider include the severity of the vulnerability, its potential impact, exploitability, and the criticality of the affected asset. Using CVSS metrics and focusing on known exploited vulnerabilities, which is um, CISA's KEV catalog, can help in effectively prioritizing remediation efforts. And I expand on this in great detail in my book. Every year, thousands upon thousands of public vulnerabilities are published, highlighting the ongoing battle between security professionals and cyber threats. The number of reported vulnerabilities continues to trend upward year over year, signaling an increasing need for robust security measures. In 2023 alone, over 25,000 vulnerabilities have been documented underscoring the critical importance of vigilance and proactive security practices. And what I should say, over 25,000 vulnerabilities have been published. So there are additional vulnerabilities that products can have that are never published. They're just, they're kept internal. So really the numbers are higher than this. In today's digital landscape, data breaches continue to pose a significant threat to organizations worldwide. Let's examine the financial impact of these incidents. According to IBM, the global average cost of a data breach in 2023 
was a staggering $4.45 million. This number has grown by 15% over the last three years, highlighting the increasing financial burden of cyber incidents. Data breaches affect all sectors from healthcare to finance to government, underscoring the universal importance of robust security measures. As the cost of data breaches continues to rise, investing in strong security practices is not just advisable, but essential. Stay informed and stay secure. Vulnerability prioritization is the only way to properly deal with the enormous number of vulnerabilities that are published on a daily basis. Not all vulnerabilities pose the same level of risk, so prioritizing remediation efforts is crucial. Factors to consider include the severity of the vulnerability, its potential impact, exploitability, and the criticality of the affected asset. Using CVSS metrics and focusing on known exploited vulnerabilities, also known as CISA's KEV catalog, can help in effectively prioritizing these vulnerabilities. Identifying vulnerabilities involves various methods such as vulnerability scanning, penetration testing, and code reviews. Tools like Nessus, OpenVAS, and Qualys are widely used for vulnerability scanning. Frameworks like the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, CVE, and the Common Vulnerability Scoring System, CVSS, help in identifying and categorizing vulnerabilities. Securing your code is an essential part of vulnerability management. Follow secure coding standards like the OWASP Top 10 and Secure by Default to minimize vulnerabilities to your code. Use tools such as Static Application Security Testing, SAST, Dynamic Application Security Testing, DAST, and Software Composition Analysis, SCA, to identify and fix vulnerabilities during the development process. Integrate security into your continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline to ensure ongoing security throughout the software development lifecycle. The vulnerability management lifecycle includes the following step. Number one, identify. Conduct regular scans and audits to discover vulnerabilities. Number two, evaluate. Assess the risk associated with the identified vulnerabilities. Number three, test. Patch before deploying the patches in a test environment. Sometimes patches will break the software. You have to test it first. Number four, treat. Apply patches, updates, and workarounds to mitigate vulnerabilities. Five is report. Document vulnerabilities and the remediation effort. And six, review continuously. Monitor and improve the vulnerability management process. The easiest way to manage vulnerabilities in the cloud is to use platform as a service. And in this way, if, if you use platform as a service, also known as PAAS, AWS, Azure, or Google will actually automate the patching of all vulnerabilities. And so you still will be responsible for doing the scanning to show your due diligence that you are scanning and then you are checking to make sure that the vulnerability is being patched. But for my customers that actually use platform as a service, it's amazing that every time they do that Nessus scan, that there are zero vulnerabilities and they've all been patched. The only thing you'll see is like info, which is amazing. There are several tools available for effective vulnerability management. Scanning tools, like Nessus, OpenBAS, and Qualys help identify vulnerabilities. Patch management, automate patch deployments with tools like WSUS and SCCM. Tracking and reporting, platforms like Jira and ServiceNow help to track and report vulnerabilities and remediation effort. In conclusion, vulnerability management is essential for maintaining a secure and resilient IT environment. Regular scanning, prioritizing, 
remediation efforts, and integrating security into the development process are key practices. Continuous improvement and adaptation to new threats are crucial for effective vulnerability management. Thanks for watching! My book, A CISO Guide to Cyber Resilience, is an indispensable resource for anyone in the cybersecurity field, featuring real-life examples and actionable recommendations. It teaches you how to defend against attacks, protect your network from ransomware, and set up effective security training programs. Order your copy today on Amazon and start building a resilient security program. Thanks for watching. If you found this information valuable, please subscribe for more updates and insights. Together, we can build a more secure and resilient digital world.